The book of John, chapter 5 and verse 46. Watch this. John 5, 46. Who it is? Christ. Read what Christ said. For well, have you believed Moses? Christ said, have you believed Moses? Come on. Christ said, have you believed Moses? What? You would have Are you? believed me. Then you would have believed him. Don't worry about that. Why is that? Because we My brother, I'm going to show you something in just a second, okay? Just show you something, just to edify, like, you know, appreciate you hanging in there with us, you know. John 546, watch this. He spoke about who wrote. We're going to show you an example of who wrote this Bible. Read that, John 546. The book of John, chapter 5 and verse 46. Am I correct? Is that Christ says? Read that. For had he believed Moses. Christ said, have you believed Moses? Have you believed Moses? Why was that? Read. Ye would believe me. Why is that? For he wrote of me. Because he did what? For he wrote of me. Even yeah. Moses wrote of Christ. This Bible here was written by our people. Right. Black men. Right. Israelite men. Right. We've been lied to, been taught that the white man, this is a white man, man. This is not a white man's book. Yeah. This is our true black history right here. Yeah. We've been taught it wrong, okay? Yeah. From the time we came over here on cargo slave ships, brother, were we able to read or write? Yeah. Exactly. They so they stole our history and made it their own. Give me Deuteronomy 27 and 15. I wanted to show you something right quick, brother. So everything we're teaching is to edify y'all because we don't realize we are the people of this book right here. So why don't hey. read the why don't read from the book? Why don't read from the book? Hold that. Why don't read from the book? What's original? Why are you reading from a King James, a white man? No, you're wrong. Man. Who told you you're a white man? What you mean? Watch this. Go back to what 546. You mean, who write the Bible? I ask you a question. Who write the King James? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this King James. It's a King James. John 5, 46. Now watch this. Who is King James? Because the white man don't lie to you. Who is King James? You read King James is a black man. A black man. King James is a black man. You got to do the research of your history. So you've been lied to. That's why we wait. We've been where you've been, brother. Listen, now you good. He good. Listen, brother. Listen, brother. We've been where you've been. We've been told a lot of lies. Right, no, no, wait, Do you wait, agree wait, wait, we've been lied to? Of course. Uh, exactly. No, right, of course. This is Pope right. Alexander VI's so, son so, named Caesar Borgia. So, so, you know so, who Caesar Borgia is? Let me ask you a question. Huh? He was a homosexual. So he was, so, that, that's the one that, yeah. that, 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 that that's right. the one so, that was a homosexual. Who make, so who make me, who make Watch you, this. who make you better than me? No, I never said I was hey, better than you, bro. We the same people. Hold on. Hey. I only we, ask we, the question. We the truth of Israel. We only ask the question. That's the real We ask the question. This is King James. Hey, 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 hello, 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 hello. No, no, but y'all stop, this, my queen. But y'all don't do that. No, 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 no. We having a conversation. Right. I don't fucking but, over but you know my what? wife. But, but so we gotta hear the Bible. We speaking and we, we talk. Right, we're gonna talk. Speak on the mic. Let's let the speak on the mic. Let's let the Bible. Let's let the Bible speak for us. Exactly. Lean not to our own understanding. All right. But we used to do that. my own understanding. Right. So let's hear what the Word of God says. You know what I mean? No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he good. He good. Just a little space. He good. Read that. Watch this. I, the book of John, like chapter that. 5 and verse 46. Watch this. John 5, 46. <laughs> Who it is? Christ. Read what Christ said. For well, have you believed Moses? Christ said, have you believed Moses? Come on. Christ said, have you believed Moses? What? You would have Are you? believed I can talk to him. Then you would have believed him. Don't worry about that. Why is that? Because who wrote? I talk to him. Who wrote of me? Who wrote of me? Christ even said Moses wrote of me. Nobody, me. Nobody. 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 According to the Bible. Wait, at the end of the day, I know Read the brother there, but, but the Bible. Me and the brother there, me and the brother there, just like the, 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 the niggas who bring you all here. Yeah, exactly, we're, we're, the same, the same, we're the same people. I know we're them. the same people. I know we're the same people. We're the same people. We're the same people. I know them. Do you, so at the end of the day, what they trying to say is, Go ahead. I respect no, you just like I respect them. Me and them, me and them, by them, been talking from before they even reach you all, fucking whatever you all dealing with. I was talking to them. But you know because we were always them type of people. Right. So, hold on. Stop. 
We all trying to figure this out. No, we we know now. Oh, we ain't know. trying to figure out, bro. Oh, you right. know. Yes, we know now. Right. That's why we're here. Free it out. We, that's why we here, brother. <laughs> Teach. <laughs> Read do, do number 27 Boy. and 15. Watch this, bro. Right, so so I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I tell you this. The reason why we so jacked up as a people now, yeah. Yeah. because we have been disobedient to God. Right. Every last one right. of us that's out here, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, yeah. we are up under oppression, up under another nation because of our yeah, disobedience. Yeah. We can't, no, I'm not, I want you to hear hey, what I'll come out the Bible. God. Read that. The book of Jesus. Yes, God. God. That's why I'm out teaching my people. God. Read uh, verse 15. Hey, brother, brother. Curse be the mind you say you that make it any grievance or month of sin. He said, curse be what? Let's see in the conversation. You that make it any graven or molten image. Make it any graven or molten image. So Let me tell y'all something. You know why we not wearing what you wearing? We used to wear that. That's a molten and graven image. You see that? This right here represent crucifixion. That's what they did to our Lord and Savior, right. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Right. Not no white man. He's a black man according to the Bible. That's right. And the white man knows that because that's why they didn't teach us that in history. When our forefathers and foremost came over here on slave ship, were we able to read or write? Say it again. When our forefathers and foremothers came right. over here on cargo slave ship, they teach them how to read or write. were we able to read or write? What read you talking about, right? Yes or no? If you was getting oppressed, yes no, if you was getting oppressed, not to read or write, we, what you we, do? We, we're all oppressed, brother. That's why we are. What they said? We you are say all you oppressed. You never come here reading or writing. Niggas come here reading or writing. Oh, we did, but were we able to read and write, brother, when we came over here on Cargo Slave Ship? Let's come here and read and write. Read on, brother. Let me finish reading the scripture. If you get oppressed, how you going to feel? I'm going to finish reading the scripture. I'm going to let the Bible speak. Read that. If you was just like Cargo Slave Ship, you was in the basic understanding of human beings. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27 and verse 15. And so forth. Curse be the mind that make it any graven or molten image. So there was a man that took and made a graven or molten image. Melt it down silver, melt it down yeah, gold. Yeah, baby, we had niggas okay. who do that. Read on. That's okay, exactly. Exactly. That's okay. But read on. It said, curse be. Read on. But an abomination unto the Lord. It's a what? It's an abomination, abomination unto the Lord. That's why we're telling you, brother, you need to get rid of that because that's not of God. Right. That's not of God. God never gave us that. Right. God gave us law, statute, commandments for us to change. Right. Give me, give me Ecclesiastes so 12 and 13. I get, blessed, I get blessed different because I believe or I feel like, you know, this is what it is. I'm trying to show you the Bible, brother. He showed you the Bible. That ain't what no, it is. No, hold on. Like I just said, my boy. That Read that. Me. Watch this, hey, bro. Hey, this right here. Like you say, this only homage, you know. I'm sorry. This only homage. Ecclesiastes you know, this homage, 12 and 13. This paying homage is like appreciating your lady. Appreciate what you doing, God, praying, you, you, you oh, praying? No, stop it! You idol. can't tell me that's nothing. That's an idol, bro. You that's can't idolatry. tell me nothing because you don't know idolatry. me. Nothing. Okay, well, Daddy, well, you don't I'm know not me. Try, I'm, I'm gonna let the Bible tell well, you. But you don't know Read me. That. The Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter uh -huh. eleven, and verse thirteen. <laughs> but I just see. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let, no matter what we say, no matter what you say, what right. does the Bible say? Read that again, King James. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So who's saying that? The whole, matter. So who's the whole that matter for us being out here tonight okay. is what? Read on. Fear well, God. Fear God. You fear God? That don't make you fear God. Are you fear God. God. How do we fear God? Let's. You fear God. How do we fear God? Read. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. That's how we fear God. We keep fear God by keeping his commandments. That's how we fear God by keeping his commandments. That's how we fear God. That's how we fear God. You are so right. No, the Bible is right. You are so right. The Bible. Bible is right. But you God is right. You ain't perfect. Christ is right. I never so you said I was you perfect, bro. Okay, right, never be. But what makes us perfect? You never be. What makes us you perfect? You can never stand up here and tell me you perfect and you, right. you fear God, but only when you perfect, you fear God. Who is Mel Chesnick? What does that got to do with us fearing God? No, I said, are you asking? Why are you telling me you fear God? Why you fear God? But when you're born into the world, brother, when you're born yet, you don't know God. Brother, you're trying to get deep. I want to thank you. That's what God has messed up. No, I what we just, what we just read, 
Yeah. Well, we just read. No, no, Do you believe that's a grave in him? I know you probably mean with well, because you know a lot of us been raised up in that. Yeah. That's what we're trying to tell him. We all been raised. Mom and dad taught us this, but they taught us this out of ignorance and not and no understand. They listen to another preacher teach them. You tell me how the fuck you contrary against this word. Am I right? What you mean? So we're trying to show you that we are the children of Israel. What happened to us as a people? And why we we, we look around here? Why are we such a destroyed people like we are? They in a fair goal. Hosea four and six. I'm gonna show you, and I, I'm not speaking my own word. That's why we had to keep going back to the Bible. Okay. Again, this is not no white man book. Okay. This is true black history right here. Cause Moses is black. Okay. Paul was black. Right. Job was black. They tell you that song of Sol Solomon himself will tell you he was black. Right. We read it that Christ is black. Okay? When we read through this book, we'll find out that all the 12 tribes of the children of Israel were people of basically color. You understand? Different shades of brown. Because man was formed from the dust of the ground, right? So they put all this stuff in the movies and brainwashed our grandmamas, our great grandmamas, and so forth and so on. But today, God is waking his people back up to come back to the truth and repent. So the conclusion of the whole matter, everything that we read and teach, out here, the whole conclusion of the whole matter is for us to fear God. If we fear God, then we're going to come back and keep his commandments. Okay? And one of his commandments tells us, thou shalt not wear any graven image. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Okay? So the white man gave us these emblems and these, 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 these Jesus pieces that we call it. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to show you a few things to prove to you that we are the people of the Bible. So if the white man written this book, why didn't he That's take out the color of Christ? Okay? Why he didn't take that out? If the white man writ written his book, and if King James, being a white man, written his book, why didn't he take out about homosexuality? Why he didn't let make that lawful for it to be okay to be man being with man? It tells us not to do that in the Bible. Am I right? So why we come up with all these things to kick against the word of God? When the Bible speaks for itself, we ain't got to put the add nothing to take nothing away from it. We're not supposed to do that. But if you just listen closely, the Bible will tell you some things that we haven't been taught. Read that. What do you got? The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Watch this. Yeah. My people. He said who? My people. God is saying my people. He said everybody in the whole world. He said my people what? Are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. We are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Read on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Like brothers right there. He's rejecting the knowledge that we're trying to give him that the Bible is saying. Not what we're saying. He's rejecting it. We're giving you simple things. We're not trying to be different and going to things that's beyond our thinking, okay? We're just using the very little things that the Spirit has given us common sense over. But read on. I will also reject thee. He said he will also reject us. But read on. That thou shall be no priest to me. Because all of us supposed to be teaching the same thing. You supposed to be a priest, I supposed to be a priest. When you look around here, all these men out here are supposed to be priests of God. Because we are the children of God, okay? We are are the saints of God. We are the chosen people of God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. I'm going to prove that to you. But I'm going to ask you, what is the knowledge that God is talking about? Do you know what the knowledge is that he's talking about? I'm going to show you. Because the Bible is going to interpret itself. Okay? Watch this. I appreciate you listening, brother. I really do. Because you're going to learn something you're going to be like, wow. Nobody never showed me that. Same thing that happened to us. Nobody never really showed us this in the Bible. Okay? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Watch what the Bible says. For thou art an holy people. God says thou art an holy people. He's talking to that same people again. He ain't talking to everybody. He's talking to the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American people. We know. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose us. We didn't choose him. But he said, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to what? To be a special people. He made us to be a special people. Look at what we do as a people. We dress. How we dress. How we sing. How we dance. Any sports you put us in. Are we not a special people? But it don't look like that in the eyes of the white man. Am I right? But we know amongst ourselves, it wouldn't be 
this America wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for this special people that they brought over here on Congo slave ships, right? We know. Unto himself, uh -huh. above all people. He did what? Uh, above all people. That what? That are upon the face of the earth. So we are supposed to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We're not there though, are we? We on the bottom now, right? Why is that? Give me Hebrews. No, give me uh, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm going to show you again what happened to us as a people. Why are we so destroyed like that? Matter of fact, who put the guns in our neighborhood? Did we put guns in our neighborhood? Bring it up. Did we put the crack cocaine and all these different drugs and the meth in our neighborhood? Did we go in the lab and say we're going to cook this stuff up and then we're going to bring it out here and sell it? Did we do that? Who done that to us? The white man. Exactly. So what is he doing? He's being who he is. Okay. Because the earth is giving it to his hands for a point of time. But he's getting ready to lose it. All that's going to be torn down. And God's getting ready to bring his people like you and I back to their rightful place. But it starts first with the knowledge of God. Again, hold that thought, what I told you. What is the knowledge of God? I'm going to show you. But read this. Hebrews 17. I'm sorry, Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Uh-huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. He said, this is God speaking. And thou, talking about you, the children of Israel, even thyself shall discontinue from your heritage. Yeah. What happened to us when we came over here in Cargo Slave Ship? We was removed from our heritage, our customs, how we eat, everything about us, we was removed from our heritage. Why is that? Read on. That I gave thee. God gave us an heritage. He gave us an heritage. Read on. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. You see that? Because we were so, well, he said, I'm going to cause you, talking about the children of Israel, I'm going to cause you, hey brother, Brother, he said, I'm going to cause you to serve thy enemies. What happened to us when we came over here on Cargo Slave Ship? Did we not serve our enemies? Is that not talking about us? Yeah. Yes, but let's read on. Read on. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. We came over in a land which thou knowest not. Because we ain't from here. Our land is over there in Northeast Africa. Okay? Which is called Israel, Jerusalem, okay? That's our true land. But see, brother like that, we try to teach him and show him the true knowledge of what, what we are about and where we come from. He's not hearing it. He's getting defensive or offensive because we're telling him what he got on his neck is, is not of God. It's wrong. That piece that he had on his neck, even that that you got, that's the image he got on his neck right there. Now we all been taught that image at one point in time. You see what I'm saying? But we just read it out of the book what the true image of Christ looked like according to Revelation 1 and 14. Am I right? right. Not no blonde hair, hair, blonde hair and blue eyes. Right. So we, that's why we got to come out here and correct our brothers. Okay? If we don't do it, the preachers ain't doing it. Because the preachers are all about this. Am I right? They pimping our people. Read on. What we got? For ye of Kendall anger. Uh -huh. So he have kindled a fire in my in my In other eyes, words, we anger. piss God off by being disobedient. You see what I'm saying? We pissed him off. So again, he said, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. What right. is that knowledge? Give me Malachi 2 and 7. I'm going to show you what that knowledge is. And you and me, brother, no matter what, all these people out here, we're going to all have to come back to the same knowledge. Right. One way or the other. Or if we don't, we're going to continue to be destroyed as a people. We read that in Hosea 4 and 6. My people perish for the lack of knowledge, right? And when we're not keeping the knowledge of God, then we're constantly being destroyed by our enemies. The enemy do not want you to know that knowledge because if you get that knowledge of who you are, not a Bahamian, I'm not a Negro colored or African American. I'm a real Israelite. I'm the true Jews. We the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. We the Israelite. We the chosen people that we just read in Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. He chose us above all people that are upon the face of the earth. But because of that, we lost our heritage by not keeping the knowledge. Again, what is the knowledge? Watch this. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh-huh. For the priest's lip should keep knowledge. So you and I are supposed to be the priests. We're supposed to keep knowledge. Why are these preachers in these churches are not keeping the knowledge of God? Well, let's find out what the knowledge is that they're supposed to be at, on the priest's lips. Read. 
and they shall seek the law at they his shall mouth. seek the what they shall seek the law at his mouth the law is supposed to be coming out of his mouth just like i said to you earlier in deuteronomy 25 i'm sorry 27 and 15 about the graven image because that's idolatry you see what i'm saying that was that was that was tormenting us with this you know that they was hanging us on they were stakes they were hanging us on these right here they hung Christ on the cross, right? Right. Well, that was a sign of crucifixion. That wasn't nothing to celebrate. You see what I'm saying? So we've been misled. We think we're representing God in Christ. Well, you're really not. You're representing the nation of Edom or, or Esau. Right. According to the Bible, that's the so-called white man. Okay? And they tortured us with that particular idol that you have on your neck. So I would adjure you, brother, get rid of that. Because what's going to make you represent God? What we read early in Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13, fear God and keep his commandments. We'll know them by their fruits that they bear. What's the fruits that we're supposed to be bearing? Not because we walk around with a cross or a Jesus piece on our neck. It's by the fruits that we bear in keeping God's law, statutes, commandments. You see what I'm saying? Just for instance, do you know that you're supposed to be wearing a beard? Did you know that's a law? Bring it up! I used to wear a little goatee like what you wearing. But as a man, you remember, when we came over in the cargo slave ships, you know what they did to us? They shaved our heads bald, and they shaved our beards off, right? And they called us what? Boys. That's right. You're supposed to be a man. When you wear a beard, that means stands for manly dignity. Okay? That's why they fear us. When they see us come up wearing a beard, looking like a man, they fear us. They always feared us. They still fear, fear us. Right. Okay? That what you wearing that, that comes from, from, from the so-called white man. We never wore that. Because the Bible, you got that scripture? About the, I'm going to show you. We're not supposed to mar the corners of our beard. Am I right? That's what the scripture said. That's another commandment. That's, a, that's more knowledge that we didn't know. Okay? But your enemies knew this. And they did it because you didn't know it. They did it to you. And now they allow you to do it to yourself easily because you perpetuate the same old brainwashing that they put on our people. You see what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Did I finish that uh, in 2 and 7? Uh, Malachi 2 and 7? Yes. But the priest's lips. Can you read it again? Yes, please. The book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lip shall keep knowledge. Uh -huh. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. So when I come to you and I'm asking you questions, you should be able to give me a law. No, nah, brother, you ain't supposed to do that. Well, man, I like this girl. No, uh, listen. God ain't never say boyfriend and girlfriend. He said marriage is honorable. Okay? That's why we got so many fatherless uh, sons and daughters out here because right. we've been taken away from the knowledge of God. You see what I'm saying? We have been constantly and still constantly being taken away from the knowledge of God. So we got to come back to the knowledge of God. That's the only way. That's what you call repent. Repentance means change. And it, it's a process, right? Because we've been brainwashed for so long doing something a particular way that it's hard for us to break that. But if we come back and follow this, like we're supposed to, we can break that curse that was on us. Does it make sense, brother? That's why we curse this very day, by disobeying God. Right. Okay? Now, watch this. Give me Amos 3 and 1. I'm a, I, I, before you go, I'm going to give you some scripture to show you again, prove to you that we are the true children, children of Israel. Okay? We ain't no blacks. We ain't no Bahamians. We ain't no Egyptians. We ain't no Negroes. We ain't no colors. We ain't no... African Americans, all these different names they've been giving us down through history to keep you from knowing that you are Israelite. Bring it up! Watch this. Read that. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Again, when we read in Jeremiah 17, 4, we was going to be discontinued from our heritage because we made God angry with us by disobeying. That's why he ended up sending us into slave ships over here in a land that we knew not. Read that. Uh -huh. The book of Emma, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. He spoke of against Israel. us. He said, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Who? O children of Israel. O children of Israel. This Bible from Genesis all the way to the end of Revelation, he's dealing with the children of Israel. And it started first, of course, with Adam. Okay. And then later on, come forth, you had uh, 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 Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
And then Jacob had 12 sons, okay? And those 12 sons make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. So when you read this Bible all the way through, even to the very end, how many gates is into the kingdom of heaven? Let me ask you that. He said one. I'm going to show you something. But finish reading this. Against the whole family. Well, against the whole family, the 12 tribes I just told you about. Against the whole family, what? That I brought up from the land of Egypt. He brought our people out of the land of Egypt. We was in slavery in Egypt. Remember that? Remember the story about Moses delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt? That was our people. That was us. There wasn't no white folks. You know that, right? That was our people. Read on. Saying, you only, you only, talk to the 12 tribes of Israel, you only what? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, you only have I known out of all the families on the earth. You're the only one that I know. You're the only ones that I'm dealing with. I'm not dealing with the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, the African man. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what God is saying. Let me make that clear. That's what God is saying. Read on. Therefore. Therefore, because of what? I will punish you. I will punish you. For all your iniquities. For all your iniquities. What is the iniquities? What does iniquity mean? You know what iniquity mean? Huh? He, he said no. Let's go to that. He punished us for all our iniquities. Right. In other words, he punished us for disobeying the knowledge that he gave us, which is the laws. God gave us law. That's what made us a nation of Israel. When you look at our people, can we be a nation now? Can we say, let's go, y'all, and, and start our own nation? We can't do it. You know why? Because we're not, we don't have no laws. Right. We don't have no knowledge. Right. And we're not obedient. We right. disobedient. That's why God sent our black behinds over here on cargo slave ships. Huh? And allow, right. I'm sorry. And allow that white man to constantly whoop us and beat us. Right. Now, he's not physically whooping and beating you now, but he oppressing you. He whooping and beating you through oppression. Am I right? We all out here working our tails off just to survive day by day. Right. Like a rat on the wheel. We go through the same cycle. We get up, we, we go to work, we leave work, work all them hard, long hours. We come back home, we eat, shower, sleep, and get back up and do the same thing. And we still are destroyed people out here. Am I, am I right? right? We still don't get no better. Am I right? right? We still looking for happiness. We still looking to get that oppression or basically get those curses off of us. Right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.